Feel Good Breakfast Show, indeed, this is Express. So thanks for joining us on this Monday. It's going to be a happy one, I promise. Well, we're giving hope to millions of blind people. Surgeons in the UK have performed the first kind of implant to someone who had a problem with central blindness. Now, apparently, this is a world first for someone who is suffering from this kind of blindness, even though the technology was developed for someone with peripheral blindness. I want to know what all of this means and whether it does give hope to some of our friends and family that is suffering with seeing. Well, here to uh, describe it all optometry to Andrew Cochran. Welcome to the show. I want to immediately call it a bionic eye, but in a nutshell, what is this technology? It's basically this particular uh, technology we're talking about is a uh, electronic plate which is submit or surgically inserted underneath the retina to give some basic sight to people who are perhaps blind or have very low vision uh, amounts of vision. It helped a specific person. I mean, he's an engineer. He couldn't watch his favorite sport on television. He sure. couldn't even get up and maybe go to the bathroom. What has this technology done <clears throat> for this person? So this kind of blindness that he had is age-related macular degeneration, which is a central vision loss. Our peripheral vision loss, which is uh, usually a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, that was actually what this was designed for, gives those kinds of people ability to move around the house. So doctors are now doing research into how does this work in the central vision uh, department of the eye. And this is where this is why it's so exciting. So it is giving us hope. So oh, central yeah. vision is things yeah. like reading and writing, Correct. right? Yeah, and peripheral vision is what we call see. mobility. Right. So driving, walking. So you walk through a door, you don't trip over a step. Seeing a car of... come on. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I mean, a person who's blind is probably not going to be driving a car. Yes. But so so the hopes of returning the kind of vision that you and I are used to is is, is probably not here. But certainly it, gives, it does give us hope for people who put, uh, who are completely blind, what we call no light perception they will be able to get vision to be able to see where a door is and perhaps move around the house a little bit. So give it to so, me in simple terms. Yes. I'm blind, I yes. can't see. What will I be able to see when this technology is performed? <clears throat> so it, the pixelation is about 60 pixels, so it's people maybe who understand resolutions of screens. So you can see movement? Movement, light, perhaps if there is a person there, there is a door over there, so you can move around. It gives those kinds of people um, a, a degree of mobility mm. uh, to be able to move around the house. It gives a little bit of independence. That's, that's the important that's thing. That's exciting. It's, it's amazing. So from where you could normally not see, you yes. can now see movement and you can at least, like I said earlier, maybe yes. go to the bathroom, literally get Correct. up and move around the table. So you don't have table. to have someone, have someone around 24 hours with you here. AMD, yes. uh, I mean, it's something that you've mentioned. It's the commonest cause yes. of sight loss, um, I want to say, in developed countries. That's correct. Right? Okay. Yes. So between 20 and 25 million sufferers worldwide, I want to be excited and ask, <laughs> is this technology yeah. coming to South Africa? Um, probably not. Okay. At, at about 2 million rand an eye, wow. it's unlikely that it's going to be on our public health agenda. It's expensive. It's very expensive. Uh, it's risky. And the rewards are perhaps quite rudimentary vision, basic mm -hmm. vision. Mm. Where, whereas perhaps your, uh, our expectation is, this is not something where you're going to say, I'm going to throw away my glasses and implant a, a bionic eye and see right. like, like Mumph and Style, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But th this is really about people who can't see that mm. can get some kind of quality of life. You know, if we could just expect to, we have different grades of blindness, mm. if we can just shift people back one step of blindness and mm. just give them a little bit of hope. Look, the excitement is that it's going to work on from here. Mm. There's some clever person that's going to be able to fine tune this kind of... And make it cheaper, hopefully. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> possibly. Uh, with medical science, it's not yes. always the case. But, but definitely they improve the resolution and um, introduce things like colour. At the moment, it's just black and white. I, right. I must add that. I think that's, that's one of the things that must be understood. The great thing is, is yeah. that there is hope and that people are developing these things. Thank you, Andrew, for Absolutely. joining us this morning. An Thank optometrist helping us all see better. I should wonder where my camera is at this stage. <laughs> In fact, we're going to the news.